Hello, Parish family. Greetings from St. Albert the Great. Please know that the staff and I miss all of you and we love you very, very much. Be assured of this, that we pray for you every day and for the world as well. Things are very quiet here, as you might expect, but your personal well-being has been our number one priority. Boy, if we had to make a lot of decisions. It's in times like these, though, that we are reminded of the vast treasures of our faith, like community in the sacraments. I'm convinced of this, that we will be back together again, and hopefully that will be soon. We will continue to stay in touch and let you know of any developments. I want to thank you for all the emails, the texts, and phone calls that I have received asking how I'm doing. Thank you very much. And because of your prayers, I can say that I'm doing very well and I remain in good spirits considering everything that's going on. And I hope that where you are, that it's going the same as well. As we are a people of hope, and the church exhorts us to build each other up, I'd like to offer you now a few words of encouragement. First of all, the parish continues to offer opportunities of prayer and Eucharistic adoration. If you have a prayer request, please contact the parish office so that we can add that to our list. I also want to ask you to pray for Doris Clayton. Many of you know Doris. She's one of our dearest who has been here for many years. Well, she broke her hip last Sunday, but I can say that she's recovering well at the current moment. Secondly, Father Albert and I are having private daily masses and are offering your mass intentions. The Eucharist is truly the source and the summit of the church. Another word of encouragement to you is to hold fast to God's Word. Let me share with you uh, a few of some of my more well-worn favorites for times like these. Jesus is the anchor for the soul. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Come to me, all you who are weary or burdened, and I will give you rest. Cast all your anxieties on Jesus because he cares for you. I can do all things through Jesus who gives me strength. The love of God casts out all fear. We are hard pressed on every side but not crushed, perplexed but not in despair. Through Jesus we do not lose heart. And then one of all of our favorites, the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And now let us close with a prayer and a blessing. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your Son, as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for all of our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother. 
health of the sick, and cause of our joy. Shelter us now under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you and show you mercy. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you peace. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. God bless you.